My name is Ranjit Charles. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm going to take a, uh, the next few minutes to give you a, a quick tour of our bill of lading uh, add-in for Dynamics Great Plains. This add-in is available for uh, version 10, GP2010, as well as GP2013. We're going to start by going into the uh, sales transaction entry screen uh, within sales order processing of Great Plains. And here I'm going to pull up an order. Uh, our bill of lading has the ability to to create a, a, a bill of lading printout from both an order as well as an invoice. For this short tour, we're going to start with an order. We're going to choose an existing order. This last one up here, three different line items. To trigger our bill of lading capability, you go under additional. And you see our options for setup defining a bill of lading as well as what we call a quick print. So here we're going to do a quick print which as, we, as soon as we do this um, it, it automatically populates all the information that we have and then allows you to print from here. You can now see the Word document. Uh, let's go to preview. Um, it's, it's a Word document that has uh, pretty much you can do anything from here as well as print it like you normally would do uh, from Word. So let's go ahead and close this and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through, let's go ahead and close this bill of lading screen, go back to our um, additional, but this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on what I call immediate print which pretty much skips that old screen, uh, skips the bill of lading screen. So let's go through a quick print again and you have the bill of lading document without going through our bill of lading screen where you can see the, uh, uh, the information that was populated from the order. Let's go ahead and close this. The uh, bill of lading actually populates information and I'm going to choose the other bill of lading option where you can actually choose uh, a customer, go and choose an order or you know pull in multiple orders. Um, okay, this one has the same. We don't know where this uh, different order there. Um, we pull information from the order as well as an invoice depending on what you choose. Uh, we actually compute the weight uh, which is stored in the uh, item master. Um, we also uh, uh, compute the package quantity. Uh, for example, you could have more than uh, one unit in a package and, and that is defined within the unit of measure schedule within uh, Great Plains and we use the same unit of measure to actually make the uh, the conversion. Um, so let's go and take a quick look at that uh, where we define that. I'm back at the order. We'll click at the item. We'll go back to the item master and I can choose the item bill of lading screen and here uh, you can see that uh, uh, it's a custom screen off the additional menu where you can actually choose for example that this one particular one has a unit of measure scheduled phone in the, in the demo company but I I am choosing to ship this by case. It is uh, likely stocked by each's, but shipping by case. Um, and if it's a and if you're in an environment where you're actually shipping something that's hazardous, you can actually define a hazard class and put a description and use that in your bill of lading printout as well. I mentioned earlier that the uh, bill of lading uh, uh, document is a fully customizable document. So let's go to um, um, our, our Dynamics GP add-ins folder. You can see it's in my local machine Dynamics GP 2010 add-ins. We see multiple templates. So I'm going to choose the one that's called Bill of Lading. This, um, just to give you a sense for uh, what it, what the customization capability looks like. So here it looks just like uh, any other Word document. Uh, but if we click on the Developer tab and you can turn that on within Word. Uh, go into design mode and all of a sudden all the XML tags show up. Um, you can add change, add change text, uh, whatever you need to do to make the necessary changes. Uh, if you want to look at the uh, actual structure or the, the schema, you can see all the different fields that are available to you and you can just drag them and drop them to the relevant spot uh, to make the necessary changes. I hope this has given you a, a quick um, but a good uh, uh, sense of our bill of lading add-in. Um, for additional information, uh, please uh, visit our uh, website uh, or, or do get in touch with us. 
and, and thank you for taking the time to uh, uh, go through the short tour with me.